morning, good evening, good day, good morning. This is Mr. B on Free Talk with Mr. B. And we have something special for you, something new, a new series. And we're going to be bringing it to you right here on Free Talk. And we call it Free Talk with Maya. And Maya from MOP, we'll be introducing her and her wonderful support, Hannah. And so they can tell us about ourselves and tell us about this new podcast and this new series. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you, Maya? How are you? Hannah, how are you? Hi, hello, good morning. Very good morning, Mr. V. And um, good afternoon here in the Philippines and good morning um, anywhere in uh, USA or wherever <laughs> you are. Right? We're okay. We're good. Yeah. And Hannah? Hi. Good morning, citizens of the world. Hi <laughs> from the Philippines. I know. We're good. I'm good here. It's so wonderful. It's really nice to have you on. And it's very nice for us to kick off this podcast. Um, I know I visited there with you guys. I visited yeah. personally. And it was such a pleasure meeting you guys. I mean, Thank I, you. I know, right? We want to tell our, our listener about the new podcast and, and kind of briefly mention our objective. And, and when I met you, we, you introduced your, your um, MOP and I was like, what's MOP? And maybe let you tell us, <laughs> what is MOP? <laughs> well, MOP is, um, is called Maya's Organization Philippines, INC. Um, it's uh, for raising awareness on child sexual abuse and helping rape victims in the Philippines. Good, good. And um, I, I think I got a book, and then I think I, I got a copy of your book, and you signed it off to me, and I was so happy that you signed it off to me. And I was like, wow, I get, a, get to have a copy. I need to return the favor. And Thank the book you. is right behind you. What is, what is the title? Tell everyone. Um, the book is, um, the title is Suffered in Silence and Turned Pain into Power. Good. Are you, anyone else in that book? Uh, wait a minute, Hannah, are you in that book? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I read the book. I have a copy of it. Um, it's more on uh, Ati Mayet's life since her childhood up to present. So you guys must have a copy of it. <laughs> I know everyone should I, have a copy of it. Huh? Yeah. So, so that's a good point. Where can they buy that book, our listeners? Where can they get it? Um, they can directly contact uh, to me. Uh, then I can ship or wherever they are in the world that they can um, order it from from me. Um, and also, uh, I've been waiting for the re reply from the Amazon. It will be in Amazon, but I don't know when. And also national bookstores in the Philippines. Yeah, it's available actually in um, national bookstore, by the way, is um, a, a, a bookstore all over the Philippines. It's available in malls. So everyone in the, world, in, the, in the Philippines, they can visit any malls and then they can find national bookstores and it's there. It's being displayed, I believe. And, and then if they want, if someone could go on the web and find more information, I guess, where would they go? Um, for the website, they can go to www.mobinc.org. Uh, because okay. this topic is, is of interest, and I want to, to let our listeners know we will be talking about this topic in different phases and, and every week. And not that it's going to be uh, so amazingly exciting and get people all worked up about it, but we definitely want to talk about what it is what is MOP and the organization itself and, and how it's um, set up to help, um, to help all together. Uh, I didn't like to use the word um, to help victims. I think it should help people. You know, <laughs> and I, I wanted to always approach that idea, but as, uh, I don't know, how would you feel, how do you feel as, a, as is the, the leader of that organization, Maya? Um, well, I feel um, um, it's a mix. It's a mixed feeling because I myself is, uh, you know, I myself uh, 
are victims of, you know, are survivors. You know, I feel like, you know, I need to do more to save the children. And uh, at the same time, uh, well, before I, I feel like, you know, uh, maybe um, shame or something, but I feel more powerful now. <laughs> <laughs> and you know that's yeah. the message we want to carry all through yeah. every one of these podcasts right you see my, my Hannah is saying yeah <laughs> yeah because it is it's turning the pain into power all right I swear I like the I like the title because it says um suffers and suffered in silence turning the pain into power yeah. and so it's it's really really amazing when we take what we say and and physically realistically um accurately portray what we're doing you are actually turning the pain into power and uh, and i can see why i'm here with you and why hannah is here with you maya because we are your support system as you have um, many other supporters and i feel that this podcast should come should bring on supporters and let them have conversations because everyone has a perspective Everyone yeah. sees it from a different place. I mean, we might look at this screen and a recording and everyone might say, oh, um, it's really nice to have Mr. B as a supporter. It's really nice to have Hannah as a supporter. Did Mr. B suffer in silence? I said, well, I don't know. Did I? <laughs> I have to think about it. Did Hannah suffer in silence? She would have to answer her own self, right? To yes, see, exactly. See what type right. of suffering in silence, what it really is from different people's perspective. Uh, but right. from... But Maya, from your perspective, um, you formed MOP, Maya's, um, Maya's organization, MOP yes. Incorporated, because you really wanted to make a difference. Yes, uh, correct. And the, yes. the biggest difference, you, what was the biggest difference you would really want to make, you think? Um, yeah. I mean, if there was one, maybe there are many, but what would be the one biggest difference? Uh, to empower the community. The empowered, uh, empower the uh, the um, the children. Yes, it's, it's the biggest difference is when when there is a victim that doesn't have any voice to say that um, it's not our fault. And and that's that is a a very very good point, you know, because the whole idea is to do something, and and so sometimes we may sit around and think. I don't know what to do. And so the, I guess the goal of this podcast is to tell everyone that you can do something. You don't have to suffer in silence. You right. can turn the pain into power. You can, you can take on some kind of a, uh, an advocacy. You can take on some kind of an action to get something done. Don't, don't you think, um, huh? Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with that. It's it's also learning from other people's perspective, especially to Ate Mayet. We are friends, we are neighbors, and hearing her story, it's like um, really learning from her perspective. I guess we have our own suffering in silence in our <laughs> own unique ways, right? But right. when we hear, when we hear other story as well, it's so empowering, it's so it's it lifts my spirit so it's inspiring in a way right so um, maya um hannah is here so we're not going to talk behind her back <laughs> 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 we're, we're going to talk about her right now so how yes. long have how long have you known her oh oh okay yes i've known her since since 2017 is that correct yes I met her in London, United Kingdom, but um, what a surprise, we just neighbors here in, uh, in the village. Like um, I live in Manuel Janga and she lived in Tagakpan, um, uh, Tagakpan um, just, down the, just down the road, you know, the, the barangay where we went you know, the, where the school or the high school. So it's just down there. We haven't met before. Um, yeah, actually we haven't met before we, since, we, since we are little, but we met in London. So I would like Harlan to, to say something how we met in London. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's still clear in my mind. Um, actually going back a bit about Ati Mayet, actually she's one of the best friends of my aunt or cousin. 
Yeah, and that's why I was studying in London during that time, finishing my master's degree in international business, and as a soul free spirited woman exploring uh, London, I didn't know anyone. So I am just there confidently exploring by myself. And I was asking some of the friends in the Philippines if they can help me assist because I need to have some legal, like in terms of money sending back and forth, something like that for my tuition. And I didn't know anyone. So my cousin, who's at Temayet's friend, um, contacted me or my sister. Then that's when we start to connect to chat hey i'm harleen i'm from the, i'm from davo city and my my aunt um sent the information to me about you and blah 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 and then to make the story short we met in a specific place where is that i forgot um paddington paddington station in paddington station and then there yeah. The moment we see each other, we hug, we like embrace, and I feel the connection already. <laughs> yes. I, I, I really feel the connection already. And since then, until now, and the coming years, um, she's, I know she has a special place in my heart as a friend. And yeah, I guess so that's how we met, how, that's how the connection started. And I love stories like this. Um, my and you, any pieces that were missing there? <laughs> any emotions? <laughs> that's that was amazing when how we met in London. Yeah, it was like um, we've known each other for a long time. You know, with uh, on that day, like oh, it's like you know sometimes that you saw the, this person in your dream. It's like oh, I think I saw you in my dream or something like that. You know, it's just it's just amazing connection both of us. Uh -huh. Honestly. Yeah. And, okay. yeah, and to add up, during that time, I think that was the time, year 2017, that you're in the middle of something, a struggle of your life. And that's yes. uh, when you started to have your MOP, like the Mayas Organization yes. Philippines. And it's so timely that I was there and supporting her tidbits of, of the MOP. I think that's, yes. that's the root. No. Yes. Yeah. So, so this is an interesting MOP. point. How would you sum up an incidental meeting and kind of soulmate friendship in yeah. Tagalish? How would you how would you tell listeners in, in Tagalog Taglish. the, the <laughs> beauty of that? <laughs> um, how can you pinagtagpo ng tadhana? I think that's the that's the word pinagtagpo yeah. ng tadhana. Because I think that's I I don't know how that how to in say English. It. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's good to say it in Tagalish or in plain old Tagalog. Uh, because uh, your uh, your listeners are gonna be there and they I think some people have similar experiences because there's a lot of um of Kabayans, Filipino yeah. people who are overseas, London, yeah, Dubai, exactly. San Francisco, now here in Houston where I am. And so mm -hmm. sometimes you know, you feel at home when you meet someone from home. Yeah, and oh exactly. my gosh, when the person is from your same area or community yeah. or village, it feels amazing. So I would always want to say that in, 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 in Tagalog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. What does it sound like? Right, I'm going right. to mess it up if I say it. Pinagtagpo ng tadhana? Pinagtagpo ng tadhana. It's like sure. meeting up by coincidence no <laughs> yes let's see what yeah it's how, that's how you would say we lost the signal it's quite okay it'll come back in a minute that's one thing i like about um, um certain... I the correct word is we met just one second because they the line was breaking uh sorry that I think that line is breaking. It's quite okay. I call it normal everyday things. And I like our listeners to know because they experience these things around the world. You know, when we heard the, the rooster, when we heard the, the dog barking, dog. and it's, <laughs> we think these are real life podcasting um, issues. And, and on Free Talk with Mr. B, even the rooster have a right to free talk. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. For sure, for sure. 
No, so I, I think it's beautiful. Over the, the next week, we will talk about the organization and, and how it's structured and how it's designed to where um, Maya, you yourself are uh, uh, the champion of the advocacy because you were a victim and you became more powerful because you gained your voice and the ability to speak about what has happened and what shouldn't happen to anyone. And uh, um, Hannah is yeah, on yeah, because right. Hannah is a perfect example of needing support. Whether you get a supporter in 2017 compared to when you may have need them in, in 2007 or 1997, you know, when a supporter comes, you keep your supporter. <laughs> Right? And you, you can find your voice with a supporter when you find them. So it's another good lesson, you know. But you yourself, again, um, being the, the, um, the CEO of the organization, being the victim in the conversation, being the author of the book, we're going to focus on, on, on you as, the, as, as this advocacy continues and as this podcast continues. We'll keep talking about what it is what is designed to do and how the listeners can benefit from becoming powerful, how they can benefit by coming out of silence. And then yeah. we will, I think uh, we will invite guests on, on, on later podcasts to talk about their viewpoint, their support for you and their support for the cause. Think. Sounds, sounds like what a, our plan, Thank yes? Thank you, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, thank wants... you, thank you. I think I think our line is ready. That's and that's quite okay. Um, there that's... are times. Let's see. The advantage of you being there together. I know. Um, I give our podcasting secret away. You can walk over and talk um, or sit with uh, with Hannah as needed. But we are really, really glad that we continue. So whether a line break or not, there are times that I know I have paused and come back online. So our conversation continues either way. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, to, to wrap up this particular uh, episode, well, let's see if we can um, come here from you one more time or else we'll see if you can switch places from it. What do you think? What do you think, Maya? I think you'll come through now. Uh, I'm so sorry because they, I, I am so sorry, Mr. B, because I think um, the line is breaking. I don't know why, maybe our internet or I don't know. Um, it's your line, okay, Harleen? Yeah, I think it's fine. Is it fine? Am I clear? Yes. Can you hear me? Very, uh, yes. I think, I think now it's... I, and, uh, yeah, I cannot hear it properly. What oh. Mr. B has been saying is like it's like um, you know waving, waving, right. and um, yes, his voice was waving, and and it's quite okay. So I'll they, pause for a minute, and I wanted to hear your last words. If you can go to Hannah. And look forward to talking to all of you soon. Yeah. Okay. So want to thank, yes, definitely want to thank you so much. So let me pause. What a, sh what a shift. Okay, yeah. thank you. So I thought this, this was a fun podcast. Hi, we are shifting. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the idea of, of, the, of our video flexibility. And this way we, we get to adjust as necessary. And that's what I do in Free Talk with Mr. B. We are real, yeah. we are here, and we have to make adjustments whenever necessary based on realistic circumstances. And that's, that's human and that's very nicely portrayed. Thank you for shifting around. Um, before I close the podcast, I wanted to hear from you again as an as a advocacy champion of MOP, uh, Maya. Yep. And what do you, what would you like to tell your listeners to look forward to? 
Uh, well, um, hello. Um, I hope and we hope that um, you all follow us for this uh, new episode for Mr. B, Free Talk with Mr. B. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, what is the MOP all about. And also, we will going to be talking also about the, the book, the, the first book that I made, Suffered in Silence and uh, Turned the Pain into Power. Um, we will be doing this for the next few weeks and months and it's very exciting because it is about um, a child has been you know um, a child that um, the victims of um, sexual abuse when I was a little girl and then I recover all those painful struggles and um, um you know burden for the last you know, more than 30 decades and i turned the pain into power to serve a community to serve the children to help that it to make it sure that it won't ha happen to them what what happened to me before thanks yes and, 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 and we have a lot of opportunity to bring that point out a little more clear um to get to whatever level of details we can or want and so i would really appreciate you guys all for being on and everyone for listening again this is um free talk with mr b we're bringing on this new series the suffered in silence turned pain into power and we hope and pray that it resonates around the world as our listeners get a sense of what it means to come out of a sense of darkness, to come out of a sense of silence, and to have a good yes. support system in the Philippines and around the world to where no one, no one should have to suffer in silence. No one and no child should have to cry in darkness. Absolutely. And looking forward to Correct. next week as we talk again about this very subject. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. Looking forward to it. Yes, we're looking forward to it. Very much so. Thank you. Good night.